Magical trip, Mickey. Gee, thanks. Uh, well, uh, come on, everybody. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like everybody's here. Hi, Chip. Hi, Dale. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, gang, are you ready for a magical time? <laughs> then on with the show! <laughs> and now your host, Walt Disney. Here in Florida, we have something special we never enjoyed at Disneyland. The blessing of signs. There's enough land here to hold all the ideas and plans we could possibly imagine. That's right, and we're on our way to a place that is more magical than you can possibly imagine. Yes! Hello, everyone, and welcome aboard Disney's Magical Express, an exclusive service created especially for you. We're on the road to the Walt Disney World Resort, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. In the meantime, we'd like to share a few helpful hints to make your check-in as magical as possible. There are a few things you'll need to do before you can start making vacation magic. First, gather up the characters in your family and proceed to the front desk. <laughs> <laughs> when checking in, please be ready to provide some form of photo identification. Preferably not a wanted poster, like some guests I could name. <laughs> if your party should arrive before the designated check-in time, you can always jump right in and start enjoying everything your resort has to offer. Like shopping. Right, Donald? Don't mention it, Donald. Or you can grab an inner tube and head straight for the pool. Please consider leaving a major credit card on your account for charging privileges on your Key to the World card. This will enable you to use your Key to the World card to charge purchases throughout the Walt Disney World Resort, as well as expedite the checkout process. Your Key to the World card serves as your resort room key and identification. You can even purchase tickets to the four Walt Disney World theme parks and add them to your card. Your luggage will arrive at your resort after you do. A Disney cast member will deliver it directly to your room. You don't need to be present in your room to receive your luggage. I did the Austrian crawl. Is that what you call it? <laughs> my paws are getting all pruny. I'll say, hey, do you like my cannibal? I think I made quite a splash. We'll take care of everything with that special Disney touch. Say, what have we here? Oh, that's just acorns. Nope, we've struck gold. Gold, chocolate gold. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to the Grand Floridian. Good morning, my dear fellow. I understand that Peter Pan will be on board. Is that true? That is right, sir. <laughs> Most splendid. If you're a Disney Cruise Line guest and have purchased a land sea vacation, you'll also be checking in for your cruise when you check in at your Disney resort. You won't need to check in again when you arrive at the port terminal. Your Key to the World card will also serve as your stateroom key and can be used to charge purchases on board our cruise ships as well as Castaway Key. 
After you check in, please take a moment to turn in your completed cruise documents at the Disney Cruise Line Hospitality Desk, located at your Disney Resort. One day prior to checkout, you'll receive notification of your motor coach pickup time for transportation to the port terminal and other important instructions. If you have any additional questions, please stop by the Disney Cruise Line Hospitality Desk and a cast member will be happy to assist you. Come along, Smee! While you're in the lobby, be sure to visit the Disney Vacation Club Information Desk to discover the best-kept Disney secret. It's a great way to save money on Disney vacations and experience getaways to over 450 other vacation destinations around the world. Members also currently receive benefits including access to exclusive special events and savings on Walt Disney World theme park annual passes. Stop by an information center early in your stay and discover the secret for yourself. Now that we've taken care of business, you're probably eager to get right out there and start making some vacation magic. <laughs> I sure am. That's what I thought. And there's more magic than ever before. Did you know that Walt Disney World is celebrating 50 years of magic at Disney destinations? In honor of Disneyland's 50th anniversary, we're throwing the biggest celebration in Disney history. All of the Disney resorts are joining the fun, and Walt Disney World is no exception. To mark this special occasion, we're importing some of the best shows and attractions from around the globe and bringing them to our four Walt Disney World theme parks. We're calling it the happiest celebration on Earth, and you're about to become part of it. So, are you ready for the Grand Circle Tour? Yep, I'm ready when you are. Then let's go. The celebration begins at the Magic Kingdom Park, where storybook fantasy comes to life in seven lands of make-believe. Discover what happens after Happily Ever After in Cinderella Bration, an enchanting musical spectacular inspired by the hit stage show at Tokyo Disneyland. We invite you to enjoy Snow White, Aurora, Belle, and Jasmine in the ultimate coronation pageant when Cinderella is crowned a Disney princess. And as part of the happiest celebration on Earth, Cinderella Castle gets a magical makeover that covers it with toilet paper. <laughs> That's not what we had in mind, Stitch. Welcome to Stitch Kingdom! <laughs> Prepare for an unforgettable encounter with the galaxy's most infamous genetic experiment in Stitch's Great Escape. When the Galactic Federation attempts to teleport Stitch to a maximum security prison, he manages to escape into the audience. You will see him, hear him, and feel him. Up close and personal like never before. Speaking of up close and personal, you won't want to miss Mickey's PhilharMagic, a 3D movie spectacular starring Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, and your favorite characters from The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, and The Lion King. Do you have what it takes to conquer the Magic Kingdom mountain range? <laughs> I'll say I do! Whoa! <laughs> Then take the challenge with a topsy-turvy trip aboard a runaway mine train. A light-speed rocket ride beyond the stars. And a wild and watery five-story plunge into the briar patch. That's cool! <laughs> And rest easy knowing that you're performing at your peak. And you won't want to miss Wishes, our biggest and brightest fireworks extravaganza ever. As you can imagine, there's a lot to see and do, but the Magic Kingdom is only the beginning. Just a short ride away from the Magic Kingdom is Epcot where the magic of Disney meets the wonders of the real world in two themed lands, Future World and World Showcase. 
We call it EPCOT, spelled E-P-C-O-T, Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow. At EPCOT, you can experience the wonders of our world and explore different cultures from around the globe. Just in time for the happiest celebration on Earth, we invite you to take flight on Soarin', a free-flying adventure direct from Disney's California Adventure. You'll glide high in the air as you look down upon the natural wonders of the Golden State, from majestic redwood forests to the Golden Gate Bridge. Feel the wind in your hair as you soar as high as your imagination and see California like you've never seen it before. Do you have the right stuff? <laughs> I'll say I do! Then blast off on Mission Space, an intense sensory thrill run that puts you and your flight crew in command of an out-of-this-world mission to Mars. Then, shift into the fast lane to face the rigors of a real automotive proving ground on Test Track. Wow! The longest and fastest ride ever created for the Walt Disney World Resort. Or just relax with a soothing stroll through World Showcase. In a minute. From the street cafes of Paris to an ancient Mayan pyramid to an exotic Moroccan bazaar, World Showcase is a global village where you can immerse yourself in the art, culture, and cuisine of 11 nations. Young people from the represented countries serve as goodwill ambassadors, making this a truly international exchange and make your day at Epcot complete with illuminations, reflections of Earth, an inspiring symphony of lasers and pyrotechnics. Walt Disney was a master showman. He told his stories in film and on television and through music and song. And then he brought those stories to life in three dimensions at Disneyland. When you step through the gates of the Disney MGM Studios, you'll take center stage as the star of your own showbiz adventure. From the silver screen to the TV screen, from rock and roll fantasy to Broadway-style live stage spectaculars. Lights, motors, action. Get ready for extreme thrills as this full throttle stunt spectacular comes roaring in from Walt Disney Studios Paris for the happiest celebration on earth. We'll take you behind the scenes to see how stunts are created for Hollywood action movies. The show even features a cameo appearance by one of the greatest Disney action heroes of all time. I'm ready! Uh, no, Goofy. Actually, I was referring to Herbie Whoa. the Love Bug. Do you have what it takes to face your fears? I'll say I do! Then scream as you free fall down 13 floors of fear on a thrill ride through the fifth dimension on the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Then go from zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds as you rock out on a wild looping roller coaster road trip on Rockin' Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith. Just remember that the only thing you have to fear is fear itself. And as the sun sets, Bring the curtain down on your day with our most magical, musical, nighttime spectacular, Fantasmic. Walt Disney had a true sense of adventure, a respect for nature, and a great love for animals. And they all found a home in his movies and on his television shows. And now those true life adventures live on at Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park, where you can experience wild shows and attractions inspired by the amazing animals that share our planet. Every path and trail invites you to explore the awesome surprises of nature, combined with all the enchantment of Disney. Venture off into the African savanna in an open-air safari vehicle for a thrilling animal-filled expedition on Kilimanjaro safaris. 
embark on a whitewater adventure through an Asian rainforest on Kali River Rapids and dodge rampaging reptiles on a time-traveling trip back to a primeval world on Dinosaur. Then join Simba, Timon, Pumbaa, and a cast of singers, dancers, and acrobats for a moving musical celebration of the Circle of Life in Festival of the Lion King. As you can imagine, there's a lot to see and do here at the Walt Disney World Resort. And there are flexible tickets and options that let you customize the experience you want. Magic Your Way tickets let you choose what you'd like to do, and the longer you play, the less you pay per day. First, you start with a Magic Your Way base ticket, which includes admission to one theme park per day for the length of the ticket. Add the Park Hopper option to your ticket for the ultimate flexibility in visiting the four theme parks. With the Park Hopper option, you can go from park to park on the same day. So you could begin your day at the Magic Kingdom Park and then head over to Epcot for dinner and catch illuminations. If you'd like to experience the Walt Disney World Resort beyond our four theme parks, just add the Magic Plus Pack option. The Magic Plus Pack option provides your choice of admission to our two water parks, Blizzard Beach and Typhoon Lagoon, home of the all-new Crush and Gusher Water Coaster, Disney Quest Indoor Interactive Theme Park, the nightclubs at Pleasure Island, and Disney's Wide World of Sports Complex. With the Magic Plus Pack, you can see a lot more and pay a lot less. With so much to see and do, you'll want to make sure you have the best ticket to fit your needs. If you have any questions about park tickets or how to purchase them, just visit the concierge in the lobby of your resort. If you already have a ticket and would like to purchase options or add days at any time during your stay, just stop by the lobby concierge. As a Disney Resort guest, you're also entitled to our extra Magic wow. Hours benefit. Gorge, you mean we can get in early? <laughs> That's right. Our extra Magic Hours benefit allows you to arrive early or play late. Each day, one of the four Walt Disney World theme parks opens an hour early or stays open up to three hours after regular park closing. So you can enjoy select attractions at a more relaxed pace. Whether you're an early riser or a night owl, there's something for everybody during our extra magic hours. The lobby concierge is available to assist you with any needs you may have during your stay. From making reservations for dining priority seating and popular shows like Cirque du Soleil, to booking recreation activities like golf and water sports. <laughs> you can also enjoy complimentary transportation throughout the Walt Disney World Resort. Our fleet of monorails, motor coaches and watercraft are ready to take you to and from the Disney theme parks, water parks and many other destinations. You are minutes away from the most magical place in the world. And you won't even have to think about planning your return trip to the airport. The characters at Disney's Magical Express will take care of you. One day prior to checkout, you'll receive notification of your motor coach pickup time for transportation to the Orlando International Airport. Please plan on departing approximately 2 hours and 45 minutes prior to your scheduled flight time. If you need assistance with your luggage, please contact Bell Services. Disney's Magical Express offers an easy, hassle-free service for guests traveling back to Orlando International Airport upon checkout. If you are flying domestically on one of the following airlines, American, Delta, Song, Continental, United, TED, JetBlue, Northwest, or Magic Carpet Airways, you may take advantage of our resort airline check-in. This service enables you to check your luggage and receive your boarding passes right at your resort and bypass check-in at the airport. For those of you with later departure times, you won't have to even think about your luggage. Just relax and enjoy your last day of vacation. do some last-minute shopping or drop by a theme park for one last visit to a favorite attraction. You can check in up to 12 hours prior to your flight scheduled departure time. 
Additional information about this service can be found in your room or you may contact the front desk with any questions. I believe we can build a community that more people will talk about and come to look at than any other area in the world. We're almost there and you are about to share in one of Walt Disney's greatest dreams. A dream that began with Disneyland and over the next 50 years spread its magic all over the world. Thank you for riding with Disney's Magical Express service and enjoy your stay at the Walt Disney World Resort. Welcome to your Disney vacation. I'm Mark Johnson, the producer of the Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, which opens nationwide December 9th. Here's a sneak peek at some scenes. here in Cedar Grove in Los Angeles. Eventually the film will be made in New Zealand. So this is a very early test for the snow in the film. It's uh, actually a, a paper, it's a pure cellulose powder that we're using on all the trees. We wet the trees down with water and then we blow the material on and it sticks to everything that's wet. And then when we finish, use more water and it just washes straight off. With this sort of snow, we can use our children and they don't have to freeze. The youngest child is eight or nine years old, so we have to create an environment where they can produce our performance. You begin leaping into the visual side of the film and looking to all the distant places of the earth to find you know, the beautiful vistas of untouched virgin forests that represent Narnia. Andrew Adamson is from New Zealand, and he knew what this country had to offer. Every time we went somewhere else, we would end up talking about, no matter how wonderful it was, it's not as great as New Zealand. It's a, a private piece of land that is about an hour and a half west of Christchurch. Andrew Adamson came here even before I did, sat down with our pre-visual artists and had them construct the climactic battle of this film on this specific land. I've never done a movie as large as this. We've constructed a town here. I looked at our call sheet, we're feeding over 600 people. So you have 600 people you have to worry about where are they going to go to the bathroom, where are they going to drink their water, where are they going to have their breakfast and lunch. I'm surprised we haven't started uh, our own municipal elections and looking for a uh, mayor the size of this town. But that's really the infrastructure you need to make a movie of this size. We haven't got huge studios here. Where we recreate this lantern waste was an equestrian centre. We walked into it and I said, well, you can't use this, the ceiling's too low. And then somebody came back with the great idea of actually digging the floor out. We were able to dig down six or seven metres below the surface and created our landscape by digging it out. We ended up with probably one of the biggest stages in the world to film it, and we needed it to avoid Narnia getting claustrophobic. And then we'll embellish that with some shots of real snow. We went to Argentina, Canada, and to Poland before deciding that there was nothing better than the Czech Republic. And now we actually get to see a bit more of the world of Narnia, a larger expanse. The Czech Republic has extraordinary rock formations in the snow. I haven't seen them anywhere else in the world. It's very otherworldly. It looks like no place we've ever seen before. It actually looks out over an incredible expanse of virgin forest. We're going through this incredible forest, finding anything that looks brilliant. I mean, the snow just keeps changing the set as we shoot. And um, we're trying to find stuff that will cut in with the, uh, all the footage we did on stage. I mean, this took us seven hours on stage to try and get something to look like this. Now, we're able to get back and show trees and expanse and beautiful snowy vistas going on forever. Okay, we're getting ready to go, so stand by. Let's roll, please, roll! 
Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. Mrs. McCready. I'm afraid so. The professor is unaccustomed to having children in this house. And as such, there are a few rules we need to follow. There will be no shouting or running, no sliding on the banisters, no touching of the historical artifacts. And above all, there shall be no disturbing of the professor. 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Ready or not, here I come. Disney Pictures presents... Valiant Pigeon, reporting for duty, sir. Too small. You should be yay high, and you're not even hey high. Charming. As homing pigeons, it's our duty to transport messages. In the worst of conditions, wind, rain, sleet, snow, bombs exploding, bullets flying. And as if that weren't enough, Mother Nature has the audacity to create the Falcon. <gasps> 20 pounds of pigeon-eating muscle. You know they'll send a crack team to rescue me. <laughs> These new recruits are our only chance. We're the ones they picked to send on the most important mission. This August, this band of misfits is doing it for love. Hello, nurse. Well, do you have a little something for a brave pigeon about to go into battle? Hey, darling. Is this what you had in mind? <gasps> For honor. Fly, pigeons, fly! Oh, oh dear. For country. Everybody's in action! Come on! Gentlemen, get ready to drop! I think I've dropped already! Go, go, go! This is sabotage! When duty called. Pardonnez-moi, do you speak French? Does ooh la la mean anything to you? They delivered. That boy's gonna get green. <laughs> Walt Disney Pictures presents a Vanguard animation production. At least have some breakfast before you go. Ooh, 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 oh, Mom. Ooh, ooh. Mom. Oh, no, thanks. Valiant. Come on. Come and get me, Falcon!
see her. I can't see her. Ah, I'm blind. I'm blind. I can't see. Oh, I'm blind. What's wrong? What happened? Oh, I killed a baby bumblebee. Oh, come on. Will you quit your bawling? Could be a lot worse. Well, we'll see how it could be worse. Oh, ah. <laughs> Son, I drive my tires over a mile of busted glass just to see that picture right there. <laughs> 